Hey, you. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Long time to see. I am here. It's been a while. You see him growing a mustache here. Um, oh, and that beard. I've been try trying to shave the beard off, but it keeps growing back kind of fast. I don't know why. But I think I'm going to keep the top part so I can get that older look. I'm always being profiled at 17. And I keep getting ID'd at the liquor store when I go buy my drinks. And it's not like hard alcohol. It's like mixed drinks like why so let's get into the meat and potatoes here so what i'm going to be talking to you guys about is how and when to rotate your tires but i have rotational tires so my rotating is going to be very different from you non-rotational tire people that's like more car so to say because i'm basically going to be talking about trucks but i'm going to fill the guys in on cars too because the same process but different aspects so as that being said i have conforcers mud tires there are rotational tires which they are spinning in the same direction on each side and well they're same directional tires so it's not really like any regular tire where it's just straight lines all the way across no so if you have that tire on the opposite side you're going to feel a lot of drag and you don't want that because your gas mount is going to go down and it may mess up your gearing ratios and mess up your engine so we do not want to do that so that being said how do you know when you need to rotate your tires so you're gonna first notice wear and tear from the front and back difference so no i tried to take my truck to get uh, a tire uh, tire rotated like uh, three months ago and i noticed my wheels in the front were a little choppy from the rear because i drive two-wheel drive all the time well 90 percent of the time because there's no reason for me to drive four-wheel drive because i'm like never driving a truck like that so when i do drive a long distance i do drive two wheel drive so my wheel patterns were way different from each other like 50 percent different you could tell but just by looking at it if you got close to it but far away you really can't tell so let's see okay so i i changed them like last month so these were originally in the rear and the rears were most definitely in the front so let's go take at the rear and I'm going to show you the difference. Okay, so I've been riding on them for quite a while, for like three months period. They were a little choppy and uneven. You can probably still see it a little bit as we, you know, focus on the tire really. They, they've been pretty smoothing out since the three month span. So I've been kind of riding on them kind of hard since I, uh, since I got back home because I'm always leaving for work. But the tire pattern is kind of smooth now. And now we're going to take a look at the front. Here's the front, tire pattern still smooth. These were originally the tires that were located in the back, in the rear. So they're, they're kind of even out now that I rotated them, which is good because now the, the ride is a lot smoother than before. Now note that I said the ride is a lot smoother than before. I realized that I had a lot of vibration in my front steering, like when I'm going like 50 to 60. And then when I increase my speed, the, the uh, vibration slows down a little bit and it starts to gradually even and then it, it rides smooth. But once I started like slowing down, like decelerating, I got a little, it got a little bumpy. So that's when I got a little worried. So, cause I realized I haven't changed my, since I got these tires on there, it's been a whole year and I never rotated them. So they, they recommend that you change your tires or rotate your tires every five to 7,000 miles. But that's also depending on how you drive. See, I'm barely driving this truck. It's either parked at an airport or parked at your mom's house. And I'm never driving it. The truck, I got the truck at 45,000 miles. Okay, yeah. Okay, maybe I'm driving a little bit too much because the truck's at 80,000 miles right now. Shh. Now we're on the, drive, the passenger side and you can see Tire still the same throughout. Pretty smooth. This, as I said before, this the front tire was originally in the back, and the rear tire was originally in the front. So we're gonna take a look at the rear. The rear, ah, you can you can kind of see it in the rear tire right here. It's kind of choppy. It has that choppy look. Um, the patches in the middle are kind of higher than the patches on the side, which 
that's how I was riding in the front and it was kind of like a vibration effect you can tell you can see the little uh, indents you can see it right there a little bit as the camera focuses yeah and this tire it's a little it's okay uh, maybe I gotta get alignment soon so that may have another effect to it a better effect with the ride style but it's all good right now I'm riding smooth I have no problems so I already put 40,000 miles on this on these tires as well and you see the tread still looks pretty damn good I'm at like at least it still looks like mm, give or take 60 to 70 percent of uh, tread life left so I got a long while before I ever get rid of these tires I might not ever get rid of them because they're pretty good tires I've been getting a lot of shit online saying that they're not as good tires because they're which they've been pretty good Ironmans Ironmans are pretty good tires my tires they're pretty good they last a lot longer than I expected on my Tahoe when I first had my tires my first my tires set ever which I was pretty impressed so my tires are pretty good me having Conforcers are pretty good and I wanted to try Nittos but I'm not too sure because uh, I think they're pretty loud and these are they're not as loud but they give me a good roar, which sounds pretty good in this truck. You can hear me coming down the highway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! But like I said before, these are rotational tires. I will show you the symbol somewhere right here. You can see it says rotation and it's going forward. Which the rotation is going forward. I'm just going to spin forward. That tire is going to spin forward as well. So if you put this tire on the other side it's not going to be the same because it's going to create a lot of drag so you got to flip the tire around which you can't fit the tire on there anyway it's flipped around it's not going to fit obviously you know actually correction you can't flip the tire on the other side but you're going to feel a whole lot of drag and your gas mileage is going to go down extremely and you may end up blowing your engine for having the wrong rotation on tires on each side of your truck or car but rotational tires I think I'm not really sure on you know I'm not a big tire guy so I don't do my research on tires every day but I do know when and how to rotate my tires because that was a doozy since nobody didn't want to do it they said they wanted to do it because they were too choppy okay I know that because I don't drive in four-wheel drive a hundred percent of the time so of course they're gonna be a lot of wear they're not gonna be even wear and tear throughout the whole set so I rotated them three months ago so now that they're even I'm gonna rotate them maybe next month so that'll be that'll be month four it's kind of early and maybe kind of late but I'm catching it right now I caught it right where they're they're even 100% so that's good so I'm like right at 100% both so I'm gonna change them around I'm gonna switch it you gotta catch it. It's hot as fuck out here. See, I went, I, I went to say Pet Boys. I tried going to Pet Boys first, but they were just too, they looked slow as hell. So I didn't have time to wait. And they're they just moving too slow. You said, I know what, I'm gonna try, try somebody else. So I was on the phone with a guy. I told him my problems, everything. He said, oh, yeah, man, no problem. Pull up, we're checking for you. I pull up to the driveway. I kid you not, he's walking towards my truck, just smiling like, Okay, I'm thinking he's about to tell me just pull in because the garage the bay was empty with only like one car. He's like, "Yeah, man, we can't we can't even change the tires because we saw when they're pulling. We saw your tires when they're pulling up; they're a little bit choppy." I know that because I'm driving in two-wheel drive. I'm getting most of my power in the back, so when you ride up front, your tire lifts up a little bit, so you're getting all the uh, the middle tread eaten up a lot. So different from the back where all the weight is going down so the tire is flat so everything's even out pretty smooth right right and I'm trying to explain to him that and he's like not you know just incompetent as hell so I'm like okay so be it the next day I rotated him I felt I felt everything like different truck turning truck driving truck riding whole different style of driving like you can feel the drag a little bit from the rotating and all the une uneven of the tires so yeah 
So that being said, if someone tells you no because they don't f see as though their solution is gonna work because they think that it's not gonna work, but you already know the problem, so you know how to fix the problem, but you're running low on time to fix the problem. Is that what I'm? You know, that's what I'm getting at. So I didn't have enough time to rotate my own tires because I was going out of town that day. I think I was going back home or going on a job like further far. So I just want to rotate my tires. So, you know, I just wanted to rotate my tires that day. So he told me no. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to argue with you. you tell me no, tell me no. So when this moment somebody tells me no, I'm going to do it myself. Cause that, when I know I'm going to do it right. I'm going to do it right the first time. So if you can't do it yourself, go to another shop try 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 again just keep trying but now i have to get alignment so that's next i should have been got that since i ever got back but just too busy it's too busy everything's too busy every time i get home you just have to do something gotta stay busy just stay busy 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 i should make more videos for you guys but you know i work on my other project too which you guys been kind of glimpsing that in this video if you're paying attention but if i didn't mention on rotational tires all you're doing really is taking your front tire and putting it to the back and taking your back tire and putting it to the front. You're doing that on the other side too. That's just ro with the rotation of tires. Now, non-rotational tires, uh, more car enthusiasts, more uh, maybe, you know, all-terrain tires, only trucks or whatnot. You're doing some weird X pattern, which I really don't know the, the real pattern, but I think your rear tire goes to the front and the rear tire right there i don't know it's something weird and odd it's something like that in that nature but you get what i'm, con I'm saying you get the concept go look it up yeah go look it up okay so what are we going to be looking for when knowing when or how or uh, you know when to rotate our tires that's what I'm, that's what i was talking about when to rotate your tires uh you're going to be looking at you're going to be thinking about the mileage you put on your tires your tire quality, which should be number one, but it's number two, because that is really important, your tire quality. You gotta make sure you have good tires. You can't have bad tires around the road. That's that's road safety right there. Make sure everything is working normally and functionally as it should be. And uh, what else, what else? Tread pattern, three. What could be number four? Let's think. Um, I don't think there's really a fourth one. If you think of a fourth one, put it in the chat. You know, let everybody else know. Maybe I should know, because I really, just throwing stuff out here on what I experienced as me changing and going through the difficulties I had to do, rotating my tires, trying to get other people to do it, which they were just, were too lazy to do it, as I'm saying. Yeah, maybe they were too lazy to do it, but I'm not gonna talk bad about other people because you know, that's not me, I'm not gonna do it. But anyways, that's that. So that being said, I will conclude this today's video on when to rotate and how to rotate your tires, which I kind of went through those things. So if you don't think I did a good job or if I missed any steps, please comment in the chat on what step did I miss or is there a better method of rotating tires or when do you know when to rotate your tires? On mud, on mud tire standpoint and street tire standpoint, all terrain, um, you know, different, there's different types of tires out there. All terrain, mud tires, you know, slicks, Michelin slicks. That's for you car enthusiasts, but we're gonna talk about that in another video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share this video all around. I appreciate you guys, and I'm gonna keep you updated with my life and my uh, my side hobbies right now. You see that thing? That's like 250 gallons right there, but I got it halfway full, because you know, Rambo can't take too much right there. He already got a little baby squat. Can't be riding like that. But, all right, guys. Study later. Bye. Thanks.